If you shop at Sweet Bay, get ready for a change. Bilo purchased the chain last year and is in the process now of changing the stores into Winn-Dixie branded stores. 43 different locations and counties throughout the Bay Area are changing. And News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson shows us what's in store for Sweet Bay customers. Just days ago, this was a Sweet Bay store. But the sign on the outside has changed. And in a few days, when it reopens, customers will see change inside and out. There's a flurry of activity going on here. Yeah. Uh, how do you turn it over top and bottom of what, like, this guy's doing? Yeah. Well, we, you know, we start, we start with deep cleaning. Joy Medina is the regional vice president for Winn-Dixie and took us inside as workers busily made the transition. But not everything is going. Some things will be kept the same. We made sure that we left items where they were at before. So if the peanut butter was on aisle three, it's going to still be on aisle three. Some customers we spoke with outside of this sweet base store that hasn't transitioned yet seem skeptical. You know what? I haven't shopped in Winn-Dixie in so many years, but it's, it's a brand name. Joy Medina has an answer for that. If you haven't been to a Winn-Dixie lately, I, I certainly ask you to come out and, and, and check it out. Winn-Dixie says this is more than just restocking the shelves and making sure that every product is in place. They say there will be a cultural change to the new identity as well. It's really a culture. Of, of, of how you respond to customers, but I think you'll be impressed with what you see. Medina says many Sweet Bay employees are coming back too, with new training and new purpose. That's important for shoppers like Lizzie Rushing. I love Sweet Bay and I'm glad they're keeping all my friends in there. And as the stores transition, there are some sweet deals on Sweet Bay branded items, starting at 25% off on Hannaford, Nature's Place, Healthy Accent, and other items up to 75% just before the stores make their big change. Jeff Patterson, News Channel 8.